In this video, we're going to look at a different deploy method. Not all servers support the technologies used for direct deploy. One common example is DreamHost. So we're going to look at a different option. First, we're going to go to the export area. And we're going to do an export. And we're going to go from this website to a real live website. And we're going to choose to export a zip file. Now we've seen this screen before when we did the blueprints, and at the time we didn't care about these values. But now we do. We need to know the document root, database name, database user, database password, and database host. However, note here there's an option to fetch live hosting server details. Simply by clicking it, it's now asking me for a username and password for my WordPress admin area site for dev.codeventure.net. Now this only works because I have installed the desktop server plugin on that site. We did that in another video. So now I'm going to put in my credentials. And there, it got all my information. It actually also got my password, but I took it out because I don't want you to see it. So then we'll hit Next. Now it suggests a file name for our zip and a location, the desktop. If you wanted it somewhere else, you could browse there. I'm going to turn off Encourage Search Engine Visibility because I don't want that visible right now. I'm going to leave on Purge, Post, and Paid Revisions because it'll help make this whole thing faster. And I'm not going to bother customizing the scrubbing options. And there we have a zip file right on my desktop. Now, we're also going to need one more file that comes with Desktop Server. And I'll show you where to find it. On the Mac, it's in Applications in the XAMPP folder. In Windows, it'll still be in the XAMPP folder, but wherever Windows puts that. And the file we want is called quickdeploy.php. And I'm going to just put a copy right on my desktop. And there we are. Now, very similar to Backup Buddy or any number of other backup solutions, we want to put these two files on our server. I'm going to use a program called CyberDuck to do that. CyberDuck is an FTP and SFTP file manager. So I'm going to open a connection and I'm going to choose SFTP because you should never ever ever use plain FTP. There's a video about that on OS training. You should check that out. And this works just like a regular FTP client. So this is my folder on my server. I'm going to go into domains, dev.codeventure.net, public HTML. And here you can see all my WordPress files. Now we're going to check something real quick. Here's the site. I reload. It's there. All is well. I'm actually going to delete everything. There. Now my public HTML folder is empty. And if I reload this page, I get the default Apache page. So now I'm going to take Quick Deploy and my zip and put them into that public HTML folder. And there we are. Now if I reload, I should still get this page because I don't have an index file. But I can go to slash quick-deploy.php. 
and this is a warning that the old website will be erased. Now it says right here we need to enter the file name of the zip archive and then click deploy. So let's get that. And click deploy. And there we are, just like that. Now those of you that have used something like Backup Buddy will note that there were far fewer steps with this. With Backup Buddy you have to put in your database information and your username and password and all of that. But we did that right in the desktop server app. And that information was stored inside the zip file. Which means you don't want anybody getting their hands on that zip file. So once you're done, you should delete it. Now Cyberduck has a refresh button. And it should show us, yes, there is all of WordPress. And it deleted our zip file for us, as well as quickdeploy.php. So to review, in desktop server, we made an export zip. Then from the XAMPP folder, we got quickdeploy.php. Then we simply copied those to our web host and went to quickdeploy.php in our browser. And that took care of everything.